Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ricardo and I'm Joe Mustard. So first of all, I want to thank all of my new followers. Last week I was very excited because I had almost got 2,000 followers and this morning I woke up to freaking 2,900 followers. So how crazy is that? So today's video is going to be about my ultimate productivity challenge. So ever since I posted the very first uh, picture about this challenge on Instagram, so many people have asked me about this challenge, they've asked me how it works, how they can set their own challenge up. So I have decided to switch the scheduling and uh, to film this video today so that all of you can finally, you know, set the productivity challenge up. But since I do want this to be a thing, you know, I've decided to create the hashtag Bujo Boosted Challenge. So if you do set up your productivity challenge on um, your bullet journal and you want to share it with the community, especially on Instagram, use that hashtag so that I can, you know, see the pictures. I'll be posting pictures about the productivity challenge throughout the month of January and February. Also, before we get into today's video, I wanted to shout out to two YouTubers. First of all, I wanted to shout out to Not So Little Me. She has some great contact. I love especially uh, how she tracks her goals for 2017. She has created, actually on the back of her bullet journal, different sections for all the different goals. And I really, really love the idea. So I'm thinking about including that into my own bullet journal and, and created uh, some spreads each for uh, all of my goals for 2017. Second, I wanted to shout out to Kayla. She has filmed this very, very good video about how to set uh, your bullet journal up for uh, university and I adore her setup. I got so inspired by this video. So I have decided to get some ideas from her video. That's why I'm, you know, suggesting you to go check her out. With no further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so as usual, I'm going to first show you the spread that I have created within my lovely community journal and then I'm going to show you my ultimate productivity challenge within my own bullet journal. So let's get started. So here is the spread guys and I have identified four different steps so that it's easier for you to start uh, your own challenge. Step one is to think of what you want to work on in terms of actions. This is a productivity challenge so you want to get things done. Also, it is important to be very specific when choosing your actions. Here you have some examples. For example, you want to uh, focus more on reading. So when the action could be reading uh, one chapter at night, for example, or rewriting your notes, going to the gym. Here, I wanted to uh, give you two examples of bad um, <laughs> uh, actions that do not work well. So for example, studying. Studying is too generic. You want to be very specific. Otherwise, you really won't be able to track um, how productive you are. That's why you may want to choose a review, a reviewing before bed or reread your notes or something instead of studying. Uh, the same goes for eating healthy. Eating healthy is way too uh, blurry, it's not as specific. So you may want to choose an action like eating one fruit or spend one whole day uh, without uh, sugar drinks, for example. But when choosing your actions, you can first think about your year goals, for example, and then according to each goal, uh, choose two or three actions or maybe one action. So you better have like four or five very specific good actions instead of having like 20 blurry actions. All right. Step two is to set a color coding system. OK, guys, you know by now that I love coloring. I am obsessed with stationery and to me coloring is so satisfying, it's so motivating. So with them in my productivity challenge, I have decided to associate one color to all of the actions that I've chosen. So here, for example, you may go for yellow if you eat one fruit or for, you know, orange if you spend one whole day without sugar drinks or uh, green for one hour of piano practicing. Uh, actually, for uh, those of you who don't know, I play the piano. I just don't have one here in Paris, but I used to play the piano back in Italy. Also, it is very, very important that once you set your action color system, you must stick 
to it. So this is a challenge. So you are supposed to set the challenge up uh, on the first day and then you should stick to that till the very end of the challenge. Third step is to set the ending day of your challenge and to put it in your calendar. It is very, very important to know ahead of time when your challenge is going to end. Otherwise, it won't be challenging at all. For my current productivity challenge, I have decided uh, to set my um, ending date for the 1st of March. So I am committing myself to color the whole spread in uh, before that day. So it could be one month, it could be two months, it could be three months, but it is important that you set the ending date and that you stick to it, that you put it in your calendar. So this way, even if you don't complete the challenge, you know, you'll know how far you went and when the ending date, you know, arrives, then you can start a new productivity challenge, you can focus on what worked and what didn't work, but it is important, you know, to have this data in mind. First step is where the fun comes. You need to draw the spread, you know, to feel satisfied with how nice the spread looks and then you get started. Moving on to the actual spread, that's what it looks like. I adore it. It's so, so nice. People like this picture so much on Instagram. It's amazing. So the very first thing that you want to do is to draw uh, this pattern right here. So this pattern here can be easily drawn in a dog grid paper or on uh, the more regular square uh, grid paper, right? So you want to draw 11 boxes here and 11 boxes here and then you want to fill all the other boxes like I did. Also down here you have your actions and the color coding system. So the productivity challenge works like this. Whenever you get one action done, you can color one box in. So guys, the challenge starts right here. That's the very first box that you want to color in. And as you get things done, you want to start coloring according to the diagonal. And you want to go this way and then down all the way around the challenge. So I have divided this pattern in six different levels and I'm going to uh, color the boxes in so that you can see very clearly all the levels. So here I've got uh, these three little guys and I'm going to color the spread in. Let's say you do uh, get the action one done, right? In that case, you color the very first box right here. Then on day two, you do exactly the same, so you can color that box uh, in as well. Then let's say that you're really lazy and you do nothing, you know, for uh, one week, but then you, you know, you get back to the spread and you're like, oh my god, this is so blank, so I do need to get things done, and you want to focus more on action two and action three, and you do both, right? On. So let's color this guy in. Alright guys, so now our level one is completely colored in and it looks so so nice this was our level one and all the other levels are just the other layers in our patterns let's move to the other part of the uh spread before coloring the rest in you can see I have divided this page in the six different areas according to all the levels. I thought that it was very important to divide this very big pattern into smaller layers in order to stay more motivated. That's why I have created this whole level system. As you can see here, I'm tracking when I start my level one, when I complete my level one, and the reward for completing the level one. Let's say I started my level one on the 1st of January. I would put here 1st of January. And then after getting all these things done right here, let's say it's the 24th of January, right? 
So here I would write in 24th of January. Reward is something that I've set up in advance so that I am motivated to get things done. This could be go to the restaurant or get some fancy stationery or get a new bag or whatever. Something that you do like and something that you want to uh, treat yourself with. When you're that win level one right here, you can take this little guy right here and you can move to level two. So when you co start coloring the first box of your level two, you're going to put the date right here so that you know when you started. And you can start adding the reward so that you look towards that reward. You know that's what you're going to get whenever you complete your level two. Do the same for level three, level four, level five, and level six. I want to focus more on level six. As I've said before, in my third step, it is important to set your ending date uh, in advance, and that's where you want to set, that's where you want to put uh, that date. So as you may have noticed, level one is the one that has the highest number of boxes. Level one has 20 boxes, while level two has 16 boxes and so on. So we get to level five right here, that only has four boxes, and level six has only one box absolutely on purpose in fact it is motivating to know that if you finish your level one up which is 20 boxes you may as well finish level two because it only has 16 and so on this way whenever you finish one level you feel actually motivated to start and finish the next level because it's easier than the level that you've just completed remember that at the end of the day levels or no levels what you want to do is that you want to get all of the boxes colored in. So now I'm going to color the other levels in so that it's really clear for you where level 2 is, where level 3 is, and so on. Now we have completed our level 2 right here and we can move to level 3. We are done with level 3 so we can do level 4. And now we're almost done. We have level five and level six left. And as you can see, it is very motivating, you know, to finish your uh, your productivity challenge. So you've gone through the four uh, levels. So you may as well just finish, you know, the all levels and color everything in. Are, guys we made it we went through the whole six levels and that's what the spread looks like at the end i really really like how you know colorful it is and how like kind of messed up it is before moving to my uh bullet journal i want to uh, go over it once more so what you do is that you start right here you color the boxes in according to the actions that you set up uh, down here you go in circles around um, according to the diagonal when you get to the end of the level you put the date here you get your reward you start your next level you put the starting date right here and the reward and you do the same for level three four five till level six knowing that the completed before date is something that you set up right at the beginning of your challenge guys this is my own personal ultimate productivity challenge and as you can see i've gone through the first half of my level one so i'm really happy about that here i'm going to focus a lot on studying and university so that's why my productivity challenge is mostly based on university work that i need to get done i have read and that's a reading for university rewrite your notes review exercises that's mainly for math for example physics one hour of chinese 
and a sport uh, whenever I go to the gym. As you can see, I haven't had time to go to the gym or do some Chinese because I've been focusing a lot on my exams recently. So I started my level one on the 28th of January. The reward is, you know, is to get a new bag for school because my backpack is uh, tearing apart, so I need a new one. And I have set my uh, ending date for the 1st of March, so I can meet myself to finish this challenge before that date. So remember, if you do set your own ultimate productivity challenge up, remember to use the hashtag Bujo Booster Challenge so that I can see your spread and the community, you know, can see your challenge. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like below and let me know what you thought about the productivity challenge. Do you see yourself using it? Are you going to set your uh, own productivity challenge up? So leave that in a comment below and if you haven't already, please tap the subscribe button down below. I post videos every Saturday for the moment, but I'm planning to post more. And also, if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. I'm Bujabusset over there and I post every day. So have a great day and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!